Hi, it's Dwyer. It's April 1st, 2021. Folks, we're not going to be kidding in this video, right? This isn't an April Fool's joke. Let's be real. Let's talk about, from a betting perspective, Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let's just say the odds I'm seeing, and compare it with the odds you're seeing, has Jake Paul as a minus 125 favorite, right? I think this is mispriced. I think Jake Paul should be going off as at least a 2-1 to one favorite over a wrestling Olympian, right? Wrestling Olympian who hasn't fought in American boxing. I I just don't know how anyone is giving Askren much of a chance. Understand too, you need to separate out the hype and the personalities from the actual fighter. Now I look at Jake Paul press conferences and I'm cringing. I'm cringing. The guy's personality is uh, a bit over the top. Okay, point conceded. But what's not over the top is the guy's boxing ability. It's the guy's power. I want people to look at his feet as he's dealing with Nate Robinson. Robinson, very tough matchup, shorter guy who's coming in low, repeatedly. Right? He's running into the pocket, he's collapsing the pocket, he's smothering Jake Paul. There's a lot of holding. There's a lot of clinching in that fight. But yet, Jake Paul, while being bum-rushed, while backing up, is able to plant his feet and throw right hands, does it more than once, and is able to hit Nate Robinson on the side of the head. Now, folks, this is not introductory dilettante boxing skills. Jake Paul, and I know he's hardly fought. Jake Paul, to me, has real boxing skills. Right? The stuff he's doing, the accuracy of that right hand on a moving target, that's slow, that doesn't give him an opportunity to really load up on the punch. Right? With very little to hit. Understand, Robinson has his head down. It's clear Robinson trained for the fight. Jake Paul is able to get that right hand in right here. I understand. One of the knockdowns might have been ruled a rabbit punch by some refs. But let's just say I'm not expecting Ben Askren to be able to squeeze heavy shots like that, knockdown punches, into as small a window as Jake Paul did against Nate Robinson, right? I don't care how bad or how ridiculous Jake Paul sounds in interviews. This isn't the interview business. It's the fight business. In the ring, after the bell sounds, celebrity Jake Paul has skills. Now, let me say this. If he was fighting MMA fighter Ngamu, a guy with heavy punches, a guy with a heavy left hand. Maybe Paul would be in trouble. Understand, life's unfair. Heavy punchers have advantages. And Ngamu doesn't even have to know the sport. He just has to land on you. I've looked at Askren videos. I haven't seen anything remotely approaching that level of power. There's an open question to me on whether Askren can even hurt Jake Paul, who's a big man, with punches. Now, I would take Askren if this were a wrestling match. Obviously, Askren knows how to grab your body. He's a master at throwing you to the canvas. None of those skills apply to boxing. None of them. 
So I'm hearing people talking about, oh, Askren was an Olympian and blah, 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 right? You know, a guy could be in the Olympics and not be equipped as a professional prize fighter, right? If a guy is great skiing, what does that have to do with boxing? Well, let me ask you, if your game in wrestling is to grab the other guy and throw him down to the ground, which is Askren's game, right? He has a very strong core. He's able to get inside on guys, use his shoulders, get leverage, pick them up, and throw them down to the ground. If a wrestling match breaks out here, okay, I'll concede. Jake Paul's in trouble if the ref is going to allow Askren to pick him up and throw him to the ground. But that's not going to happen. What's going to happen is Askren is going to try to collapse the pocket just like Nate Robinson. How do I know? Because what else is Askren going to do? He's not going to have a back foot game. He's not going to be staying outside trying to out jab Jake Paul. That's not going to happen. So he's going to try to collapse the pocket. I understand he's training with Freddie Roach. Okay, great trainer, right? But understand, let's just say Freddie usually has more to work with. Usually Freddie's dealing with a Miguel Cotto or a Manny Pacquiao, right? Professional prize fighters. Where you could say, hey, player Bob and Weave, be outside, be sudden, jump in the pocket with straight lefts, right? With, with left hooks. Askren's not going to have those skills. Understand, too, in the realm of boxing, while beginners can be punchers, figuring out the lay of the land so that you actually have a back foot game and timing where you can actually come in for quick strikes in the pocket, that takes several fights. Askren's not going to have those skills. He could be training with Angelo Dundee or Nacho Beristain. He's not going to have those skills for this fight. So what I'm expecting is Askren to come and try to turn this into a grappling match. He's going to try to get in the pocket and throw elbows and, you know, be physical and stuff like that. The problem is, from what I've seen, Jake Paul, real puncher, right, KOs. Nate Robinson drops him several times in that fight. Right, I'm expecting Jake Paul to be the heavier-handed guy. More importantly, I'm expecting Jake Paul to know how to throw punches. And I'm also expecting Jake Paul to know how to neutralize Askren when he comes inside. In other words, Jake Paul can just grab him as well as back up to create space to hit Askren with shots. Right? Askren might also figure out that Jake Paul's going to control distance until Askren is deep in the pocket. So I could see Paul doing a 1-2 hitting Askren with the jab, then, after Askren gets stood up, coming across with the right hand. So I'm sorry, I see a minus 125, I'm thinking, you gotta be kidding me. I was expecting Jake Paul to go off as at least a minus 200. Understand, Conor McGregor was interesting as a boxer because he's a puncher. Ngamu would be interesting as a boxer because he's a puncher, right? The idea is, look, the guy doesn't have to know boxing. All he has to do is land a left hook on you and you might be in trouble, right? The idea with Conor McGregor was, hey, if Conor McGregor just gets in a good shot on Floyd, what's Floyd going to do? Wasn't that the idea? Nobody watching this video thought Conor McGregor was going to come out box Floyd Mayweather. But nobody thought Conor McGregor was going to get a decision in a fight with no knockdowns. Well, Ben Askren doesn't have the punch, folks. At least I haven't seen it on film. There's no Conor McGregor threat of him ending the fight. He doesn't have the punch. This isn't wrestling. So he's going to be in the ring against a puncher who actually has boxing skills. 
right? I like Jake Paul here. Uh, I don't care how ridiculous he sounds outside of the ring. Right? I, I really don't. I view this fight as a mismatch. You know what? Askren could be an Olympian. Great. Okay. Aspen could be a spectacular wrestler. He is. Great. I was looking at his wrestling uh, videos and I thought, wow, this guy's impressive as a wrestler. Doesn't matter, does it? They're boxing. Right? Let, let's not confuse boxing with wrestling. Let me also say, too, you know, and I'm amazed at the betting opportunities in boxing. If some Olympic wrestler decided to play baseball or football or tennis, it'd be laughable, wouldn't it? You would say, who cares that he was an, uh, uh, an Olympic wrestler? Who cares about that? This guy can't hit a fastball. But yet now I'm supposed to believe that he's going to be competitive in a boxing match against a guy who's already demonstrated some boxing ability who, in terms of his technique, has it down. Right? Let's concede that Nate Robinson fights a messy fight. Let's concede Jake Paul lands several clean shots in that fight. Right? That fight ends early. Let's concede. Jake Paul actually is landing some big shots in that fight while backing up. Right? Which is an introductory level stuff. So, in this celebrity match, and I understand it's uh, way off the mainstream. That's why I have this out of this world background here. In this boxing match, I'm expecting Jake Paul to win. Big. Likely by stoppage. Because the casino is giving me a minus 125, my bet is simply on Jake Paul to win. I don't think Askren has the power to drop him. I think Jake Paul's boxing experience, it's limited, but it's more experience than Askren has. I think it's going to give him the advantage if a boxing match breaks out. I think if the guys start throwing punches... I think Jake Paul, who's already stopped an athlete early, has the edge in punching power. I like Jake Paul to win this fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.